हरे कृष्णा वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज ऑन श्रीमद भगवद गीता टुडे वे विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर वन एंड टेक्स नंबर ट्वेंटी टुडे इज वर्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ कंक्लूडिंग वर्स फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच एक्सप्लेन्स वाई पांडवाज आर गोइंग टू विन सो दिस इज द कंक्लूडिंग वर्स फॉर टूडे एंड बिफोर वी बिगिन लेट्स से श्रीमद भगवद गीता की जाय शिल प्रभुपाद की जाय सो द वर्स नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ दिस वर्स गोज लाइक दिस एट दैट टाइम अर्जुन द सन ऑफ पांडु seated in the chariot bearing the flag marked with hanuman took up his bow and prepared to shoot arrows o king after looking at the sons of dhritarashtra drawn in the army military ray arjuna then spoke to lord krishna this words so this particular shloka this particular verse is spoken by sanjaya to dhritarashtra but he is describing the situation of arjuna on the battlefield of kurukshetra now something important is there in this verse and that is that the chariot of arjuna which we discussed in the previous video that the chariot was given by agni dev but this chariot is having a flag that flag is having emblem or mark of hanuman ji that means hanuman who is very dear devotee of lord ramachandra is present on the chariot of arjuna this shows the victory sign of arjuna we all know that hanuman ji cooperated with lord ramachandra when lord ram was fighting against ravana to rescue mother sita and establish dharma at that time rama emerged victorious by the help of hanuman ji and other monkey army here also we find out that lord hanuman is helping arjuna so that he can become victorious and why hanuman agreed to become to come and sit on the chariot of arjuna this story is given in shri mahabharat as per this story mahabharat explains that there was a time when pandavas were in exile and at that time bhima had gone to the forest for some reason and he was running very fast this happened in uttarakhand present day the himalayan mountains bhima was walking running very fast and he was destroying the trees at that time hanuman ji was lying with his tail out in the form of a monkey bhima comes and says oh monkey remove your tree you remove your tail otherwise i will throw you hanuman says ha ha very good but why don't you chant ram my dear brother please chant the name of ram and don't show so much anger and bhim again becomes angry you old monkey what do you think of yourself remove your tail otherwise i'll throw you along with your tail hanuman ji again says dear brother please chant the name of ram hanuman becomes very angry this time he is not able to stop and he says are you moving or should i throw you hanuman says chant the name of ram and my brother if you want to try throw me away hanuman takes up tries to lift the tail of hanuman ji and he is trying to throw away bhima he is taking the tail of hanuman ji and trying to throw away but he is not able to lift at all that bhima who was having the strength of 10000 elephants is not able to move the tail of hanuman ji so much strength hanuman ji had and then bhima requested dear great monkey please tell me who are you are you lord shiva or are you the supreme lord who is coming and testing my patience i am not able to understand hanuman ji shows his form and tells to bhima i am servant of Ra- lord ramachandra and that's why i was telling you again and again dear brother chant the name of ram because bhima is also son of vayu and hanuman ji is also son of vayu so both are brothers and again and again hanuman ji was saying chant the name of ram because of this 
Bhima should have understood that he, that the monkey is Hanuman, but he did not understand. Then Bhima prays, requests, you please come along with me. We are going to fight Mahabharat war against the Kauravas and we want to establish Dharma. You had helped Lord Ramachandra. So Bhima is requesting, please come along with us and fight against the Adharma people. Hanumanji says, no. This is not my yuga. This time belongs to you all. Hanumanji is giving lessons to all of us that this is not Treta Yuga, this is not Dwapar Yuga. In Treta Yuga, Hanumanji was fighting. In Dwapar Yuga, Bhima and Pandavas, Arjuna, they were fighting to establish Dharma. In Kali Yuga, this is our duty to take responsibility and make devotees. To make them chant Hare Krishna, this is responsibility on all of us. So we all should gather together and preach the glories of Lord Ramachandra. So Hanumanji says, but don't worry, to Bhima he is saying, don't worry, I will come and establish myself on the chariot of Arjuna, which will never let you get defeated. Because now we will be discussing some certain things from the previous shlokas. Why? Because today is the concluding verse on the victory signs of the Pandavas. If you have not seen the previous videos, please read through them, go through them and so that you can understand the previous shlokas very nicely. So in this, till the verse number 20, there are nine signs, nine points, which Sanjaya is explaining to Dhridrashtra very tactically, very diplomatically, that how Pandavas are going to win. And which are these nine signs? The first sign is, Krishna's personal presence confirms the victory. And this verse is given in the fourth. This verse is number 14 in the first chapter. Prabhupada writes in the purport Jayastupandu Putrana Yesham Pakshe Janardhana that Krishna is on the side of the Pandavas. We also should understand that when Krishna is on our side, we will always be victorious. And if we are on Krishna's side, following Dharma, reading Bhagavad Gita, chanting Hare Krishna, then we will always be victorious. Nobody can defeat us. Krishna is named as Rishikesha, which means he is controller of our senses. So when we take shelter of Krishna, when we surrender to Krishna, that time Krishna is taking our responsibility. We did not depend on anybody else then. So we will definitely be victorious. The second sign is goddess of fortune. That means Lakshmi Devi is personally present. This is also given in shloka number 14. That wherever Krishna is, wherever and whenever Krishna is present with whomever, Lakshmi Devi is personally present. We are seeing nowadays that people are running behind money. Ah, I want one lakh, I want one crore, I want millions of dollars, I want to become very big person. But all of us should understand that those who are having so much money, they may not have peace of mind. They may not be having satisfaction in heart. But when we become devotee, when we pray to Krishna, when we chant Hare Krishna, then we are not just becoming a devotee, but we are getting satisfaction in heart. And Mother Lakshmi, who is goddess of fortune, goddess of wealth, will also come along with us. She can never leave without her husband. And her husband is Krishna. That is guaranteed. Number three, the venue itself, the place where they were fighting is Kurukshetra. So whenever we are feeling uncomfortable in our heart, so either we should try to take shelter of devotees, like we will go, we will come to that, or we should be going to a dham, holy place, like Vrindavan, like Sridham Mayapur, like Jagannath Puri or Kurukshetra, because these places are surcharged having complete energy of Lord and his devotees. Now comes point number four, the signs of Pandava's victory, which we can also implement in our life. Hanumanji's personal presence. If we take shelter of any great devotee of the Lord, like Hanumanji, or like Srila Prabhupada, who is founder of ISKCON, he has written Bhagavad Gita as it is. And if we follow their instructions, if we lead our life as per their dictation, 
then we will always receive victory. We can never fail. As Hanumanji was dictating Arjuna, and Arjuna and Pandavas, they became victorious in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. This particular point is given in Shloka number 20. Now point number 5, symbols of Vishnu, like Konshan. This is a sign of Vishnu's victory. This is given in from Shloka number 12 till Shloka and 14. What this explains that even Bhima, Bhishma, who is on the Kaurava side, let him blow the conch shell or the Pandavas, let them blow the conch shell. The victory is always on the side of Dharma. Now comes point number 6. That the conch shell of Pandavas, especially Arjuna and Krishna, is called transcendental, Divya. It will never be failed. Krishna's conch shell is called as very auspicious name Panchajanya. So whenever that is blown, there is always sign of victory. There is no failure. If you know the pastime of Dhruva, a small five-year-old boy who went to the forest and did tapasya, meditation, within six months, he got darshan of Lord Vishnu. How did this happen? Because he was fully concentrating on Lord Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu came and touched his conscious, his shankha, on the head of Dhruva. This is the sign of victory. Point number seven, the blowing sequence of the conch shell. In the Kaurava side, everyone was blowing together. Whereas on the side of Pandavas, first Krishna, then Arjuna, then Bhima, then Yudhishthir, Nakul and Sahadev, then Drishtadimna and others. This was the sequence. But this sequence was not followed on the Kaurava side. Point number eight, Agni Dev's chariot was given to Arjuna. That chariot never failed. This is point number 8. Why Arjuna and Pandavas are going to win. And point number 9 is shattering of the heart. Whenever Dharma is present or Krishna is present, the enemy side, the demon side, they will always shiver. They will be in fear. So whenever your heart tells you, don't do this. This is not mentioned by Krishna. Please do not do that. Which are those four things which we should not do? Srila Prabhupada says, first, no intoxication. Second, no gambling, no meat eating and no illicit sex. These are the four things which we should not do. If we do this, then Krishna is not on our side and we will become very fearful. So please reduce these four things. Pandava's heart never shattered because they followed Krishna, they followed Dharma and they became very victorious. These are the nine important points which we should keep in our mind. If we want to become victorious, chant Hare Krishna always, follow four regulative principles, take shelter of devotees, try to visit Dham and uh, accept the symbols of Lord Krishna in our life. Take shelter of Lord Krishna. Thank you very much for attending today's video. Hope you all understood uh, how to become Krishna conscious victory person. Thank you for attending. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.